Okay, so this is a new video, uh, roughly entitled Spin Technology is Based on Spin and Counterspin. So, before I do my little drawing part, I just want to kind of go through the outline of, brief outline of all the basic concepts. Um, spin Technology is basically what all of our technology really is. And it's just based on the general principle that all is motion and all motion is spin. Um, that means that all change is spin based as well all stability is spin based. Um, all technology is, is spin technology. Spin in this sense is, comes back again to the you know the basic principles these this would be the most fundamental principle actually of all science it would be spin um, and what kind of pointed out this fact to me was the the work of Albert Roy Davis and Walter C Rawls where they posited these two magnetic spins uh, one clockwise one anti-clockwise but of course if you go back to the Tao Te Ching yin and yang you have you know, a template, the outline for the basic principles. But they have to be, yin and yang would have to be interpreted as two alternating spins. One clockwise, one anti-clockwise. Now, uh, spin technology, w what you're basically saying is that any kind of substance or force um, in nature could be a carrier of spin, a, a carrier of spin, a transmitter of spin, and a generator of vortices so you could have you know going down the list just as a rough list you could have magnetic spin uh, electron spin photon spin plasma spin gas spin liquid spin solid spin and of course you know you have all these other um, particles theoretical particles whether they're real or not I don't know about all that are our, our quarks just you know magnetic particles um, then you have protons, neutrons, and then atoms, and so on, all of which could be conductors of spin. But in each of these things, um, if you have magnetic spin, you're going to be generating magnetic vortices. Electron spin, electrical vortices, photon spin, photonic vortices, whatever that means, like maybe light emission. Um, plasma spin, plasma vortices, gas spins, gas vortices, liquid spins, liquid vortices, and solid spins, solid vortices. Um, and of course you can interact them, you know, across, you know, you could have a spinning gas, say, you know, out in the ocean that stirs up the water and creates vortices in the water and so on. Um, but the, the main point is that all technology is spin technology. So I think that's an important thing that we haven't really grasped. We, we have this notion, these so-called Newtonian kind of physics nonsense that anything's ever still, that a body just kind of comes, you know, it's, it's go going towards rest, man, which is not really true. Everything is in motion. So to say that something's coming to rest, from our perception, it seems to be the case, but it's really not true. Um, things are coming from one state of motion to another state of motion and then to another state of motion again which motion in that sense is spin clockwise and anti-clockwise spin so back to the basic point spin technology is based on spin and counter spin um, you have anti-clockwise spin and then you have clockwise now what I've drawn here is here's a diagram just to simplify it what you have is spin which is this big anti-clockwise spin right here then you have a smaller a f number one and number two a smaller counter spin and then a smaller counter spin again and so this is how all the forces in everything work and, and, and the reason that I laid out that list is very important to understand that's how all of this stuff works magnetism electricity photons plasma gas liquid solid quarks Protons, neutrons, atoms, you name it, your body, your thoughts, everything. It's all based on spin and counterspin. Whether you call it magnetic, whether you call it whatever the hell, you can call it whatever you want. The fact is, it's spin and counterspin. You have a larger spin, then smaller spin, then smaller spin. They're, go they're alternating back and forth. You can see this when you run water. 
you know, when you flush a toilet, when you, you know, any of these things. But the basic pattern looks basically like this. You have a spin, a larger spin in the middle, and then you have all of these secondary counter spins kind of circling it, and then those spins create counter spins again going the other way, and you see that's the flow of nature, and that's the anti-clockwise one, and then here's the clockwise one, which is it's just a mirror image of the other, which you have this clockwise primary spin right here, then you have these all these ringing it these these secondary counter spins and then ringing those again these primary counter spin these these tertiary uh, so you have a primary spin a secondary ring of counter spins and then ter a tertiary meaning a third you have a first a second and a third order of spins that are ringing you know counter spinning again and that's basically it and this is how we need to design all of our technologies i think that I, i'm gonna have to read this guy victor Schauberger much more closely because i think that in his studies of water and whatever he may have actually figured the whole the whole thing out um albert roy davis and walter c rawls what they said about you know clockwise and anti-clockwise magnetic spins they may have gotten the fundamental principle i.e. magnetism and people like um, Walter Russell who talked about these he, he suggested the counter spins but the way he described it is kind of a little bit to me counterintuitive and problematical although I think his, his diagrams are still important but I think that this thing of looking at this whole point of spins which you have this spin in the middle spin generation but when you generate a spin it's going to generate all of these counter spins which are essentially your vortices essentially i mean the truth of the matter is all of this is just one big collection of spins a vortex is just a spin but it's you know you have to start somewhere so you're just saying okay I have a primary force which is a spin and then it's generating all of these secondary vortices but that main spin is a vortex as well but this whole principle of spins and vortices or a or some sort of say device or machine that generates a spin that or that's that's carrying a spin whether clockwise or anti-clockwise and then the result in any given media is basically vortices this these basic principles we need to develop them fully because that's the basis of all technology and um, that's really it so I hope that that makes sense and adds something to the discussion so and the thoughts thanks